What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we did a little bit of a tour of Sir Chester, and now it is time for us to go to the 6th gym, I believe. Yeah, it's the 6th gym. And we are going to be taking on... I don't remember her her name. I just know that she is thick. She is thick because of the, these things right here. Okay, so... That was a hidden item right there that we needed to find, and well, let's go straight in and, uh, you know, go straight to our destiny. Now, if you guys are playing Pokemon Shield, I think this gym is a little different. I could be wrong. Comment down below, and... <laughs> That's right. You lost. Oh, my God. You don't know how much this makes me feel, like, how good this makes me feel. It really does, just watching this guy just lose. <laughs> Ugh, I lost. I went in the pot to a pot. There must have been something wrong with my strategy, but I just want—I just wanted to, or I just did what I've seen do, Lee do in the battles. Here, take this. It's a rock, uh, rock leaders, uh, or the rock leaders league badge. You should check it out. Uh, oh, the fate. Okay, okay, okay. So I, so yeah, this doesn't really make sense then. Okay, so this is the the rock gym leaders. Holy crud, okay, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm out of uh, words right there. You see guys, Rusty AF, Rusty AF. So, we are playing Pokemon Sword, and obviously in Sword, you're going to have the Rock-type Gym Leader here in Sir Chester. Now, if you guys are playing in Pokemon Shield, the Gym Leader is going to be an Ice-type Gym Leader. And that makes so much more sense. Now, why couldn't... I don't even know, guys, I'm, I'm done complaining. Let's talk to this guy, he's going to give us a Pokeball. All right, give me my Pokeball. Yes, the ball guy, yes. Bam! We get ourselves a Moon Ball, which many of you guys already know. You, you know, you can capture any Pokemon that evolves through a Moonstone on that. Okay. So, Rock-type Gym Leader. I am uh, assuming that, you know, this actually switches out my strategy just a little bit. So, let's go right ahead and uh, see what this is all about. Uh, talk to her. Welcome to the Gym Challenger. Do you want to attempt the Gym Mission? Yes, I do! Let's go right ahead and uh, take on our our opponent right here. Okay, so we are sit. Oh yeah, and I did change my uh, I did change my, my my gear. You know the way I look and all that stuff for this occasion. Do not know why I did that. Oh yeah, just so I wanted to look the part. I wanted to look the part. Yes. Okay. So here we go, guys, for the rock type gym. Yeah. It, again, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense if you uh, if. I don't even know, but as you can see, guys, same deal. Would you like the clear details of the gym man mission carried out in this search Chester? Yes. Then allow me to explain a little about the trap detected you hold in your hands. The reason you'll need it is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. If you fall into one, you'll have to start all over again from the last platform you reached. The detector will vibrate when the pitfall is in front of you. The closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. Giggity. Then on you go, and good luck. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take care of this situation. As you can see, guys, you're going to be feeling it right onto your, your controller. So, yeah, stay the heck away. And it looks like to me, if we go right here, yeah, we're going to go into a pitfall. So we probably should have taken a right turn right here to Albuquerque. And if we go right here, upstairs, yes, we will find it. Oh my god. Hey, you used to walking around in Sir Chester Stadium yet? Yes. Okay, so here we go, guys. Another battle. Take it on Abigail. I dated an Abigail one time. Pretty fun times. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on Abigail in her, uh, whatchamacallit, her Pokemon, Bulldor. So let's go straight for a waterfall. Remember, guys, rock type Pokemon, weak against ground, ice type, and water type. And don't forget the occasional grass type Pokemon right there. And there we go, just like that, Bulldor has been defeated. And well, we have defeated Abigail. That was easy, but I think the challenge is to try and get to that section right there. And as you can see, that is the wrong way to go. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, so... These pitfalls could be big, small, anywhere you want to go, but I think we found uh, the trick right here. And look at that. Okay, so we reached the first one. And after 
actually, after discovering, or actually making your way around, the pitfalls will actually appear right here. And just like that, we survived the first one. So now here's the second one. It's a little bit longer. And... Huh. It's a little bit... Okay, right there. Right here. Nope. Nope. Okay. Right here. Okay, so... <laughs> look at that. Okay, I, I seriously... I, I was seriously winging it, guys. I'm not looking at anything. Probably should look at something. <laughs> So here we go, taking on Kiera, taking out her crustal right here, and well, let's see, crystal looking like a tank right here, so best way to defeat crustal is a water type attack, since it is a bug type, negates, negates any kind of grass type attacks right here, you know, ice type attacks could work on it, you know, that kind of stuff, and well, let's go right again, take on another waterfall attack right here for the win. And just like that, bam! Okay, alrighty. So we're doing some, we're doing, uh, we're doing some, uh, some good right here. Shadow Blade grows to level 44. And yes, your rock types are not that amazing. It just, well, you only have one. So, okay. So the next challenge right here is, it's never that easy, guys, because it's vibrating so fast. So you have to go around. Huh. Okay, so let's see. What if I go right here? You know, I'm just doing this on purpose just so I can actually, you know, just so I can actually get to the trainer right here. And, well, it looks like we're here. Now, there is some, something I need to check. And, yeah, okay, I was correct. Shadow Blade is stronger. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and use one. Let's see, let's go ahead and use one large extra candy right here. On Bex, since it should be one of my strongest Pokemon right here. So, this will give him 10,000 experience points. And, well, that's all I need right there. That's actually, you know, that's actually one thing that I actually like about Pokemon Sword and Shield is the experience candies. Because, you know, you can go minimal or you can go a high and, you know, you can raise up a lot of Pokemon just like that. Does it make the game a little easier? Yes, it does. But for me, you know, since I don't really have a lot of time... And actually, you know, it's much better for me. I mean, it's everybody cup of tea. So there we go. And there it is, guys. Waterfall attack. A oh, Krakatoa. We do have a Pokemon like that named Krakatoa. And Michelangelo grows some uh, HP and gets experience points. Yethler and Oliver has been defeated. And, well, let's see. It's never that easy, guys. It's like, it's it, it's right there, but it is uh, vibrating like crazy. So they ha we have to go around, and yes, we have to go all the way around. So let's see, go right here. Jeez, okay, so you have to go straight to the corner just to actually get to the very end right here. And thankfully, this whole thing, like, we, we start up, we start up on the last place where we were at, so there we go, guys. We have completed level two right here, and that uh, that is a lot of potholes. That is a lot of potholes. So here we go, round three, even longer and even dustier now. Holy crud! And jeez, okay. Yep. So yeah, that's not fair. This actually works as a sandstorm, and you know, at this point, I'm probably just gonna be. Going through the potholes just so I can make it out of here, and there we go. All right, so let's see. Where, oh, where are we? There's supposed to be a trainer around here. Come on. Oh, there you are. Okay, so if you're playing Pokemon Sword, it's gonna be the same thing, guys. It, you know, it's gonna be foggy instead of dusty. So, yeah, just just be aware of that. And here we go, Michelangelo ready to go, and let's see, let's go straight for a waterfall attack. This will actually, hopefully, defeat this guy real quick. No sturdy attack and crap baskets. And, you know, thanks to that, thanks to that shell bell, it's actually, actually, gonna, it's actually gonna help us a little bit. And there is a wood hammer that just beat the living tar, you know what, out of us. And, well, it's a double elimination. All my Pokemon get some experience points, including hers, I think. And, well, Wendy has been defeated. Okay. Alright, so that was that. 
So let's see. Go right here. Okay. That right there is uh Damn it! Okay, so we have to go all the way back. And because it's dusty, giggity, can't really see much. You know, I'm just like I'm doing this on purpose, that way I know. If it takes a long time, then you know it is what it is, guys. Okay, go right here. Okay, so that right there, I got a little lucky on. Sometimes I get a little lucky. I think it was it. I think it was in my previous walkthrough that I actually walked through this whole thing by myself. Like, didn't even know where I was supposed to go. And well, let's see. Right here. Right here. I see a hole. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so you go straight forward, guys. There's no way in heck you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be going just straight forward. They don't make that easy right there. So go around and bam. Wow. Holy crud. It's a lot of potholes, guys. Holy crud. Okay, okay. Look at that. Wow. See? See what I mean, guys? Okay, so before we do anything, we got to revive a Pokemon because, well, we kind of need them. We really do. So let's go straight for a revive. And let's go straight for a Hyper Potion right there. And we are ready to go. Let's go right ahead and claim our six badge after like three years, three months. Three months. God, man, I'm taking a lot of breaks here. So here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got a drink out of my uh, my water here, and well, it is time for the sixth badge. And uh, well, look at this place right here. It looks pretty cool, nice and dark. And this guy right here in the highlights. Holy crud! The highlights and everything. Okay, hey there. The name's Gordy. It made me feel a bit uh, bad for doing this to a gym challenger, but. I'm going to use this mask to show the crowd that my Pokemon are unbeatable. So, let's get over with it. Challenger. Okay, okay. Yeah. He thinks he's going to beat me. He doesn't know what's coming. So, here it is, guys. Gym battle number six, Gordy. And I'm pretty sure it's because he's a little tubby. So, here he comes out with a barbaracle. Can't even pronounce that name right. And, well... I think that Pokemon is a it's a water type type Pokemon too. So we gotta switch out Pokemon right here. I got the Pokemon for him. Let's go straight to Kiss. Let's go. Kiss. Let's get it. And here comes Barbarical. Bar -bar Barbarical. Barbarical. I can't even say it. I don't even know. But here comes a Shell Smash. This right here will lower its defenses just to increase its attacks and uh Got to do it quickly because, yeah, these attacks are going to be sharp. And it's speed, too. Holy crud. Okay, so that makes sense. So let's go straight for a seed bomb. Here comes a razor shell attack. That right there hits us pretty hard. And the defense has gone down. So here comes seed bomb. That's right. How's it feel to fail? Not so good. Not really good. And, well, there we go. Increased a little bit of experience points. And he's going to be coming out with another Pokemon. Why are you looking backwards? What is it with... Ugh, I don't even get it. Right. What is it with these anime characters looking backwards? Is this a pose or something? Shoot, I don't even know. So, here we go, Michelangelo. And how is he supposed to throw the ball? I don't know. But here comes a Shuckle, Bug-type Pokemon, but also a Rock-type. And, well, let's go straight for that Waterfall attack. Now, now Shuckle, of course, its defense is... Very high, probably the highest. And here comes the Rock Tomb attack. Not going to be effective. It will lower our speed just a little bit, but guess what? Stick for the waterfall for the win. Look at that. And Shuckle has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And thanks to that Shell Bell, it will actually give us some HP back and Kiss. You know, for not doing anything. It's learning counter, but I'm not going to teach you that because that's not a good move right there. And Stone Jolner! What the hell? Oh, yeah, I know. I know what Pokemon it is. Stone Jolner! 
Look at that Pokemon. Barely see this guy. Stone Jolner. Let's go for a waterfall attack. And this guy's coming out with a Wonder Room, which will swap out these guys' defense. Or, well, yeah, defenses and all that stuff. So here comes a waterfall. That was probably the worst move you could ever do. But I'm pretty sure the Wonder Room is not just for this guy, for his Pokemon itself, but the other one. And, well, he's going to be looking at us. He's like, Colossal. I am not switching Pokemon. He's like, not yet. I'm not Chromita Dust just yet. We can still battle. You know, I'm just going to look at you. And I'm just going to beat you with just nothing. I'm just going to just use a Waterfall attack because, yeah, we don't need a Dynamax right here. So here he comes. Like a giant mountain boulder. Hiya! Gigantamax. Okay. Seriously, you gotta look at me straight in the eye. Stop looking backwards. And here he comes with a gigantic max. And this guy right here. Again, why are you looking backwards? Probably one of the lamest poses anybody could ever do. And I'm just looking at it just like, okay. Alright, cool. Alright, here he goes. Waterfall attack. And this colossal is a... Uh, Steam engine. Oh shoot! Its speed has dramatically increased, and this guy's like, size means strength. Saving this pain. Okay. And here comes the G Max of Vulcan. And oh, that right there. Okay. I see how it is. We are surrounded by rocks, but guess what? Waterfall attack. What? Oh snap. Okay, so. Yep, and we're gonna get hit by that, and we survive with 5 HP and eat this. Suck it. That's right. <laughs> we didn't need Gigantamax just to beat you. Now turn around, look at me like a man, and take this L. Alrighty. Look at that. Okay. Yes, we have defeated Gordy, and I'm like throwing out the pizza, and he's like, really? Yeah, you just go in that hole and climb and just die or something. I don't know. That's really bad to say, but still, you acted too cocky for your own good. Okay. Anywho. That was impressive. Rules are rules here. Take this rock badge. Hey, right. The shake of honor right there from Ring of Honor. And, well, look at this. We get another piece to this little puzzle. That makes six badges. And we can actually capture Pokemon up to level 50. Oh, don't worry about me. I just need to train harder. That's all. Okay. All right. That's at least you admit it. Is celebration of your victory over Gordy. Take this TM as well. And we get ourselves the TM48 Rock Tomb, which we already have on one of our Pokemon. And boulders are hurled at the target. This lowers the target's speed and preventing movement. Here's a special uniform as a design the Gordy wears that means extra cool, which we will not be wearing because it's not cool. It really isn't. Anywho, walking away, strutting my stuff, six gym badges in all, and, well, would you look at that? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That battle was brilliant. The gym leader was tough, though you, uh, but you had no trouble. Yeah, that's right. Sir Chester has really got... Really, or it has some really great restaurants. Yes, they do. I got some things I want to talk to you about, so let's head to the restaurant and celebrate your win. The name of the restaurant is Bob. Your Bob's your uncle. No, well, I got quite a few uncles, but Bob's not my uncle. Anywho, let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take your business right there. Not really. I just want to go home. So, the next episode, we will be going to Bob's Your Uncle right there. I'm just gonna go straight to the Pokemon Center, heal up my Pokemon, because I kind of feel a battle coming, you know? That kind of stuff. But any of you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. In the next one, we're gonna be taking care of more business and all that crud. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at our league, league card right here. Look at that. Six badges. I look like a Flipper Saiyan and all that stuff. New gear and all that crud. And uh, Pokemon up to level 80 will listen to this trainer's request, which is great because I got quite a few Pokemon right here. Uh, let's see. Album. Gordy. Look at that. His si oh, he, he's got a pretty cool signature. Pretty cool signature and all that stuff. And, wow, the last badge that I actually... Well, the last few things that I got was back in, Je in July. Hmm. And this was all in, uh, yeah, this is all in preparation for my birthday. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so anywho, guys, 
Stay tuned in the next episode. We will be going to Bob's Your Uncle and uh, taking care of business right there. So thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to make a donation right there. You know, heart thing right there on the thing if you guys want. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.